welcome to Trim Boot Camp's Back and Bicep Day. I'm Valerie Smorrell, creator of Trim Boot Camp and founder. Now, I am so excited for this workout, and I'm actually making this public for a reason because I just want you all to get a chance to pick up the weights at home and realize you can get a really, really good workout and you don't have to go anywhere. So if you only have 20 to 30 minutes to do workouts a day, and literally that is from the time you start to the time you end, at-home workouts are so, so effective because you don't have any drive time. You don't have any kind of what should I do when you walk into a gym? This is what you can do at home. So for my Trim Boot Camp clients, it is our high carb day. We have high carbs. We eat bananas, fruit, all of the carbs when we lift. If you have never done Trim before, this is still a very effective workout to do. Now, I will say for those of you who have never lifted weights before, or if you are brand, brand new to lifting weights, I actually don't recommend this exercise or this workout today. I would strongly suggest that you actually do Trim Boot Camp, the seven-week program we have where it's going to help you learn to lift weights over the seven weeks and do carb cycling, which is the most effective way to lose weight for a lifestyle change. So we're going to get started into this. If you need to pause at any time, feel free. We're just not quitting. You can take your time. You can pause, tend to the children, whatever it may be, but you do not quit. You are going to finish this workout with me. We are going to get started with some activation. As you all know, we always do activation before we work out. Just meaning those muscles that you really want to hit sometimes are not the primary muscles your body uses first. So by doing activation first, we're just making sure our body is using the right sort of energy from certain muscles. Okay, so you're going to need a resistant band. Once you get the resistant band, make sure you have some heavy weights. I have 30 pounds. Um, kind of thinking I should do 25, but you know, we've already started, so I'm just going to go with it. And then you will need to cut your weight in half at some point at the very end. So I have my 15 and 12. Four biceps, I'm not probably going to go over the 15 pounds. I may even pick up the 12 because we are doing it with a back muscle. So your bicep is going to get triggered during all of the back exercises as a secondary muscle, and then we're gonna go straight into using it as the primary muscle, which means you may not be able to lift as much, and that's totally fine. But enough talking, enough introduction, let's get started. Arms are going out, and we're just doing little pull parts. That's all we're doing. Stay at your chest line, that's two. We're gonna do 10, three, four, five, six, inhale coming together, Seven, exhale as you pull out, okay? So that's eight, that miscount one, it's okay. Nine and 10. All right, so going straight into an I and coming down to a W. One, two, three, like again, we're doing 10, four, five, six, inhale down, sorry, exhale down, eight, inhale up. Exhale down, nine, one more, 10. Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time. Go ahead and put your arms out. Remember, the closer you are to your midline with less resistance, the harder it is. Pull out a little bit further, leave some more slack there, and it's gonna be a little easier. All right, let's do it one more time. One, two, these are nice and slow. Three, inhale in, <sighs> exhale. Five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's get to those W's all the way up and come down. One, inhale, exhale. Two, three, we're very big on breathing and trim. Four, oh my goodness, <laughs> five. Six, keep going, seven, eight, squeeze at the bottom, nine, and ten. All right. Now, right, we're done with these resistant bands for now. All right, first set, we're going to do a standard bent over row. So back is flat. Weights are going to be out here, coming to your pocket, not coming to your armpits, okay? Very important. Bent over row. Then we're going to pick up the other weights. Just do a standard bicep curl. Keep the elbow 
behind your back. If you go forward, do them like this. You're working more shoulders and biceps, and we are really, really targeting the bicep today. All right, y'all ready? I really wish, I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had 25 pounds, not 30s. So you're gonna count with me. We're gonna go for about eight to 10. If you are able, if like you don't feel anything at the end of those 10 reps, you need to up your weight. If you don't have anything to up your weight with today, don't worry. I just want you to do 12 to 15. You should feel the last two reps are the last two your body can do. So you wanna lift to failure. All right, let's get started. Slightly bend over. I'll go from the side so it's a little easier for you to see form. Weights are going out. Woo, ready? One. See how it's going to my pocket? Two. Three. Four. Slow it down. Five. Six. Seven. And I'm going to get eight in. Get your ten in if you can. I can only do eight right now. Give you a couple of seconds to finish up. I'm going to grab, let's do 15s for the first time. We're now going to go into our bicep curls, okay? This is my work. I'm doing it with you. If I was just one, doing a regular video, two, I would use lighter weights, three, but I want you to see what it feels like for, to go to failure. Four, five. Six, exhale up, inhale down. Eight, oh my gosh. Nine, one more. Ten. All right. So I know my number is eight with those 30s. Um, I don't think I've actually done 30s for quite a while. So that's probably why my body's like pulled up. So I made the stop at eight. That's fine. You can keep going to 10 to 12. We are letting our bodies rest for a second. I'm going to start the timer because we want to be able to have more strength when we do that again. We're not doing aerobic where we really are caring about how many calories you burn during this workout because what we are going to burn more of is calories throughout the entire day more than you would just during a cardio workout. Okay. Y'all ready to pick those weights up again? Because I'm not. But we're going to anyway. All right. And let's go. One, two, three. Kind of stay at my pace. Four, five, six. Yep, I'm not going to do more than eight. Seven, eight. You keep going. Get that nine, ten. I'll go for the 12 through 11 and 12. All right, we're going straight into those bicep curls. I'm going to stick with my 15. I think this is the hardest round, honestly, so let's just get it done with. Ready? Inhale up. Sorry, exhale up. Inhale down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, my gosh. Seven, eight, I'm gonna get 10 in. I'm gonna do it. Nine, and 10. I literally could, pro I would, it would not be good for me to do another rep. That is lifting to failure, okay? While we catch our breath for the next 20, 30 seconds, I guess I gotta catch my breath too. We are, the reason I talk so much about breathing is because you want to get the oxygen out of your lungs and out of your muscles on the exhale. Sorry, on the contraction. So when the muscle is lengthening, we inhale, fill our lungs up, use that power of exhaling and getting the oxygen out of our body to do the curl. That will give you more of an effective workout just by doing that with lifting. Okay, uh, we have about five seconds left, so go ahead and grab your weights. This is the last time you're doing these. Promise. We are, you actually, I actually really like the next two things we have. They're like my favorite exercises. All right. But I hate these just as much as Bulgarian foot squats. I hate bent over ropes. But we're going to do them. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six. I'm gonna get my eight in. Seven, eight. Finish up. All right, let's get those bicep curls in. If you're a little behind finishing up, that's totally fine. We have our rest after this. Let's go. One, two, three. Inhale down. Four. I want you to hear your breath. Five, six. Wow. Seven. I'm going to get eight in. Eight. Finish the 10 if you can. My biceps are like, you're done. And then catch your breath. I'm going to go and start going over the next two exercises. So the first one, gorilla rows. You're going to be kind of, this is why I said, if you've never lifted before, this is not the best first workout for you to do. Um, you're going to come down like a, just like you, a gorilla stance. You come here. And you're going to do one at a time. Okay? Come back here with it. So you're bringing it to your side. It's not as hard as it looks, but it's super effective. Then we're going to go to outer bicep curls. We just work the front part of the head of the, of the bicep. We're now just from here to here. Little bitty movement. So you're just doing your bicep curls a little farther out. I think I'm definitely going to go 12 for this, for this one. Okay. All right, y'all ready? This, like I said, this is my actual workout for the day. I'm dying with y'all, but I'm doing this because I want to get stronger. It's going to build more muscle, and you get tons of carbs when you lift with carb cycling. Okay, let's go ahead and go. I don't think, I'm not going to be looking up at the camera for this. I do want you to keep a neutral spine, so I don't want to be like this staring it. So I'm going to be looking down, like looking right in front of me. All right, I want you to do 10 total. So one, two, three, so five each side, okay? Didn't really tell you that, I don't think. And let's go. One, stay at my pace. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, grab those other weights. I told you they're not too bad. And let's go. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, five. Still be breathing. Six. Exhale up. Inhale down. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. Catch your breath. We're about to do set two. And you guys, we only have one more set after this. And then we go into our metabolic boost. I call them the meta rounds to shorten it. But you're going to absolutely love it. Or you're going to curse my name after this, which is fine. All right. Y'all ready? Let's go back into it. One, make sure I'm right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my gosh. All right, grab those weights. I'm going to go with the 15s. Didn't feel as quite of a challenge as the 12s. Let's go. One, two, man, that's three pounds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Get those ten in. Um, as you can see, that's my that's my list of failure. I could not do the the rest. Catch your breath. We have one more set. And then we're going to be hitting the bra area next. My favorite. So we're going to be hitting that next. Oh my gosh. Even if you're a male, this is the, what we're about to do for that next set, even though 
it's for, I call it the bra area. It's beneficial for everybody. All right, y'all ready? You done with both of them? Caught our breath. Got a little more oxygen and blood back to the muscles we just used. Ready? Last time. One, two, three. I could probably go heavier on these next time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I say that now. Nine, ten, and then I'm like dead at the end of it. All right, I'm going to go back to the 12s. I want to get the full 10 in. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Eight, nine, and 10. All right. Now, you only need one weight for our last set, okay? We are going to do, obviously there's not a lap pull down machine in here. So we are going to do them lying down. If you have a bench, great. I have one, I'm not gonna pull it out for this because I wanna show you all you can do everything on the floor. But if you can go more negative when you go over, that's wonderful. Okay. Are you all ready? I'm going to show you first. Don't worry. All right, so we're here. Let me see where my mic is. All right, it's still good. You're going to hold it kind of like you do a goblet squat, and we're just going to go over and come back. Now, the key to this is you have your elbows going forward. Turn them out slightly. By doing that little turn, you hit right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do these first, and then I'll show you the second exercise, because we're already here. So let's just go. Ready? Pelvic tilt. Make sure you're not losing, lifting up your back, and let's go. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, put that weight down. We're done with it. We're going to flip over and we're just doing push ups. On your knees, put your hands on a bench, a couch, a chair, whatever it is, but we're going into it right now. Okay, I'm going to do modified because I want to work on my lowering more than anything. And I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm just trying to get stronger. So I don't need to do the full ones right now. Let's go. We're going to get 10 in nice and slow. Stay at my pace. That was two, three. Do you see why I went to the knees? Four, we're going really slow. Five, six. Elbows are going back, not out. Seven. Eight. Inhale. Exhale. Nine. Last one. And ten. Whew. All right. While we rest, we're going to do just a little bit of kickbacks. So go on all fours and alternate going back. I don't want you to have a weight for this. Okay? That's four, we're going to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. We're going straight back into this one. Grab that weight. And whew, let's go overhead again. Pelvic tilt above your chest. Turn elbows out and let's go. One, two, inhale, exhale. Three, four, I will always rem remind you to breathe. Five, 
Six, do you feel it under your armpit by turning your elbows out? Seven, it's a game changer. Eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get into those push ups. We have one more set after this, and you're done with these. All right, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, remember, got those little kickbacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're probably like, can't we just stay on the floor the whole time? Um, after the set, like I said, we have our meta boost, and then you're you're officially done. Okay. Like I said, we don't care how many calories we're burning during this workout. Calories burning burned during a workout will not improve. Focusing on that will not improve your weight loss journey. It'll only hinder it. Focus on getting your body to build muscle and burn calories when you're not working out. That's where the change happens. Ready? Let's go. One. This is the last time. Two. Three, four, do you see I have a little pause at the bottom? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two more, two more, we can do it. Nine, last one, ten. Now, if you do that with the bench next time, it does make it harder because you're able to go behind the bench and go below your head so you get a little more of that negative um, space. All right, let's get those push ups in. Okay, you're gonna follow me. Don't kill me for doing this. Let's lower down one, drop, lift your hands up, and push through. That was one. Let's go to hand release push up. Two, three, Four, and lifting those hands up is crucial. Five. Oh my gosh. Six. I didn't tell you about this. Seven, because I didn't want you to quit. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we have the meta round. Doing the activation a little meta round at the end is kind of how my signature workouts work. Um, so we're going to start with single arm rows with half the weight. So I'm going to grab the 15s. Single arm row, we're only doing six. And then we are going to go a little faster because we want to boost our metabolism. So we're going to be here. One, think of a lawnmower. Lawnmower, you don't pull up like this. Lawnmower, you're pulling back, okay? So six of those. Switch straight into the other one, six. Grab both weights, we go straight into reverse flies. We're not doing delts, keeping it low. Elbows coming together, wrists are just following. We have eight of those, then we have 12 jumping jacks. Guess what? We get to do that three times. Kind of regretting saying that already, but I've already said it, so we're just gonna do three times. I was kind of thinking we maybe do two. But no, I already said it, so. All right, I have this ready for me. Three times, I will do the counting because I want you to stay at my pace. If you want to mute me during this because you're like, I'm gonna do my own pace, that's fine. But for those who want a little challenge, I want you to stay with me. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, switch over, we're not resting at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab that other weight, reverse flies. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, 12 jumping jacks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Catch your breath for a few seconds, and we're doing that again. <sighs> Grab that weight. Told you just a few seconds. I'm trying to get you in and out of here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Both weights. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, it's really hard when you're counting two the whole time. All right, ready? Go. One, two, three. Oh, one more round. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Oh, one more round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? I'm going to switch sides. Do this side first. One. Oh my gosh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I was not expecting to be that weak during this round. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get these jumping jacks in. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right. You just finished that workout. Oh, so proud of you. Don't sit down yet. Stand up. Hands over your head. Oh, you don't want your head to go below your heart oh, when recovering. Now, if you have questions, you can always email us at info at oh, Can't breathe yet. Um, or you can go to our Instagram trim underscore boot camp and ask us questions there too so let us know if you need anything and enjoy high carbs today <laughs>